Today we're going to be looking at some more freshman wide receivers from the 2023 recruiting class to get us ready for the college football season. And we'll know these players better when they start popping off throughout their collegiate careers and when it comes time for the NFL draft. Today we're going to be looking at Jalen Hale, four-star recruit who's going to Alabama as we work down the rankings of 247 Sports. We're going to look at his 247 Sports player profile page, and then we're going to watch the highlights. If you're just here for highlights, just fast forward a little bit, you'll get there. But before we do this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give that a quick tap because i got a catalog of videos of these prospects right now. You can just go on and look at those. Plus videos from OTAs, mini camps, soon to be training camp from the NFL, and then also the fantasy football analysis. So we got a huge package of clips for you to consume. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. But let's dig into his 247 Sports player profile page. That way we get acquainted with him so we know what we're looking at. Right here, six foot one, 185 pounds is what he's got listed. Enrolled in Alabama on January 10th of 2023. Wide receiver six in both the composite and the rankings, so we don't have a big variance. Every now and again, we'll get a prospect that has a big variance in the rankings, and then you got to figure out why. Also, one, two, three, four, five stars in the composite, four stars on the initial rankings. So we got a mix bag here when we're looking at the stars. Has 35 offers, five visits. Look at the top teams here on the teams that were going after him alabama georgia texas texas a&m usc everybody wanted this guy sometimes just looking at those top schools looking at who's going after him how many offers are they getting is a good indicator of what you're getting as a prospect to some degree under armor all american game so we made it to that which you should you're, you're a top 10 prospect at the wide receiver spot draw comparisons to eric Zuckerman. I remember um, getting him in Debbie Fantasy Football, and he was a prospect from a market share standpoint that we were going after, and it has some good complex stuff in his game, some nuanced route running. So there is some things that you want to look at in some of these players. When you look at the comparison that these guys do, you want to chop it up with some traits that you're seeing on film that you can see on the other guy. That's usually how I can make it make sense a lot of the times. Three sport athletes, track guy, looks like he does 200 meters, so I'm guessing this dude's going to have some long speed. So once you get 40, 50, 60 yards, I bet you he's gone. I bet you there's not catching up to him. Plays even above listed size, so he's aggressive. That sounds what it sounds like. Wiry, strong with good run after the catch, so he's going to get you that yak. Strong production, so productive player. Initial get off and early acceleration. So he's got pop off the step, pop off the line of scrimmage. Let's see how he handles press, but we'll probably won't see these in the clips. Combination of physical tools, functional athleticism, three sport athlete. Again, at this top of the rankings, you're going to get good wide receivers. Track guy, 200 meter times here, and one four by four by 100, 22.6, three 200 on the long jumps. We're going to have some long speed with this guy and some pop off the steps, what we're seeing here. Now we're going down here with the production, and this dude was very productive. Back-to-back -back 50 catch seasons, back-to-back 1,100-yard -back seasons, and back-to-back -back 14 touchdown seasons. It's very interesting how the numbers played out like that, how close together. I wonder if they got the correct numbers. Just saying 14, 14, 15, 50, and these two are just so close to being the same. That's just such an anomaly, but it could happen. It could happen. But looking up here, one thing you want to look at, everybody wanted this dude. We have decent size. Maybe it'll thicken up a little bit throughout his collegiate career. The rankings are really solid. We're in Texas, too. Stout competition in the recruiting rankings, and he's ranking pretty high there. Let's see what we got here with Jalen Hale and see what we can see on the clips. And let's start this off. Five minutes and 57 seconds of highlights here from his huddle tape. Boom. Nice hands. Moves well after the catch. Getting some long speed happening here. There we go. I want to see more plays, though. All right. We're down, down at the bottom of your screen. Let's see what happens. Play action, gets downfield. 
Look at that space. Comes back to it. Ooh, extends out nice. Good hands brings it in. I do see the pop on the step, though, when he turned up there. Want to see more, though. Let's see what we're getting here. Coming off the line. Six foot or more, 185 pounds. He looks like he's got enough thickness, though. Like, I'm not worried about the thickness. I, I would want a little bit more when we're coming out for the NFL level. But we're having some guys come out in the 180s, even less than that recently. Ooh! Now pull away a little more. Pull away a little bit more. There we go. There we go. More than enough speed. That's all I need. Like, when I look at guys' speed, I'm just really seeing if they got more than enough. And then I'll classify a guy as a burner or not a burner. Honestly, I don't look too deep into that. Uh, the footwork, the nuances, the being able to sell your route, being able to hit a break with no drift. I'm more looking at that stuff. And uh, if you're slow, more than fast enough, or you're a burner. Those are three things. He's definitely more than fast enough. Good hands right there. Ball skills, showing it. Showing that he plays bigger than his size like the description says. That That's where that shows that at. Being able to rise up, time his catch. That's good. Brings it down. Takes it. Boom. Let's go. Let's get a kick here. All right. All right. Takes it outside. He should be doing this against the Jabronis at the high school level. And we're in the slot. Gets downfield. Here we go. Stretches it. There we go. There he goes. Blows right by him. Blows right by him. Right there on the outside. Gets down there. Blows right by him. There we go. Now we're starting to see it. Now we're starting to see him cook. That's why I was waiting a few plays. When I clip these, I don't watch them first. I kind of see them, make sure I got everything made correctly, and then I just look away so I have a live reaction with you guys. Let's see. It's about five off. Outside shade. How are we going to attack that? Ooh, goes out a little bit, and then... Slams it back in, not breaks it, but kind of like veers in with speed. Because you know you're going to beat him with his speed. He's arrogant with his speed because he, he just goes right to it. He goes right to his spot. Let's see, bam. Bam. Good after the catch. He is good after the catch. He is good after the catch. Good pop off the step, too. Not just with good speed, good pop off the step. That's important. Ooh, there we go. There we go. I was waiting for him to sell something. There we are. There we are. We have nuance to this game. We have pop off the step. We can't get deep. We're aggressive after the catch. We're good at the catch point. Just blown by guys. Blown by guys. This guy has speed. This guy's got some speed. Here we go again. Circling him off. Again, going to Alabama and all the schools. There we go. Selling it. Selling it. Look at all that space he created. He can't keep up with him either. And he moves well in a phone booth. There's really not too much bad you can say about him. Usually in highlights, you, can't, you don't really have much bad to say about any player. Rises up. Good hands. Solid hands. I also was away from his body until he needed to bring it in. Inside shade with the DB. Creeping in a little bit. He doesn't want him to break in. And he's like, I'm going to just take it over here then. Bam! Knew that was coming. Here we go. We're in motion. We're going to be in the slot. Oh! Easy pitch and catch right there. There we go. We're at inside shade. Trying to cover deep. Walks up. And you're burnt. Caught him walking up off the snap. Can't do that to a guy like that. Looking in. Oh. Even when the ball's right there, he's able to adjust to it. Even when that happens, he adjusts for it. We're up top now. Outside shade. Guy's looking in. Why the hell are you playing like that, man? You know this guy's going to blow by you eventually. You're just trying to turn your hips and go with him once he gets into you. Ain't going to work. I 
Nice catch. Coming around. Coming around. Stays on his feet. Good balance. Good balance. That's good to see. There we go. Good head move. Double moves. Double moves. This is a nuanced guy. This is a nuanced guy. I want to see more of him, really, because I want to see him do more stuff. I want to see him being contested more, but we see a little bit of everything. We see speed. We see pop off the step. We see solid hands. We see him catching it overhead. We see ball skills. We see him do some double moves. We see him break off routes. We see him sell routes. Moves well in a phone booth. Moves laterally well. Good after the catch. All in all, very solid receiver. You're getting a little bit of everything. Some of these wide receivers, you're good at like this one little spot you're really good in your lead at. You're kind of good here. He's very good at everything. I don't want to just undersell and say good. He's very good at everything, and I can tell why everybody was going after him because he can take the top off a bit. He can break off the route. Solid hands, aggressive after the catch. To the point you want to see more because you know there's more things that he can do and there's more things that he's done and you want to see it all. So I want to see more of this guy because I'm a fan of watching these players and this is another fun one to watch and you're going to get this. They got him at wide receiver 6 on 247 Sports on both rankings. Makes sense. Top 10 guy, easy. Top 5 guy if you want to put him up there. He's a good wide receiver and he's going to Alabama. So that's going to be a tough competition to work your way up the depth chart. That is what it is. It's Alabama, but he does deserve to go there because, man, he did make some plays there, and I can see how he can fit into that offensive system, but how he can get downfield, stretch the seam, and then also make plays downfield. Look for him soon or in a couple years doing some stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that subscribe button on the way out so you don't miss out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.